Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another episode of the series of 10s and today I will be talking about my 10 sources of income. So if you are new in this channel, my series of 10s is where I talk about serious and makabuluhan adulting things. <laughs> That's why today I will be sharing one thing that is very relevant in adulthood. <laughs> the last time I did a video regarding how I managed to buy my luho and how much I spent in a month, I got a lot of comments and DMs asking me to make a video of how I make money because nabanggit ko don na magaling akong mag-generate ng income pero hindi ako magaling humawak ng pera. <laughs> So, dun po apatok si Don the Builder sa buhay ko and the financial advisors, di ba? A millionaire said kasi that you should have at least seven sources of income. Pero Gina G ako. Kaya ginawa natin 10. But you can have even more. But at least seven baskets daw. Para whatever happens, if masira yung isang basket mo, you still have six baskets to get from. If masira yung limang baskets mo, there's still two, di ba? Ever since I started working, I would always have at least two or three. Ang diskarte ko sa life ever since nag-start ako mag-work is yung main source of income ko, which is my main job. Doon nanggagaling yung mga essentials ko, yung mga non-negotiables, yung mga needs talaga, the bills, the adulting stuff, all of those. And then, of course, hindi naman pwedeng all work. We should also play. That's why I would always make an extra racket on the side. So that's where I will get my luho, my traveling, my shopping. So before, I would always have a job and then I would have like modeling, nung bata, -bata pa ako, or online businesses. I used to have my own clothing brand, pasabay, mahilig ako sa mga ganun. Yun yung dati ko. But now, nung nagka-pandemic, dun ako nag-start to be more aggressive in having other sources pa because yung main source of income namin before the pandemic, most of you already know, is chains of circuit gyms. And until now, hirap na hirap pa rin yung industry na yun. So imagine if I only had that one source of income before, nga nga si <laughs> If I didn't have my online skincare business last year, tapos biglaan na lang pinasarado yung mga gyms, then I don't know where I would get my... Hindi ako sanay na wala akong sariling pera. Don has his own money when naapektohan yung gyms namin. Hindi ko kaya yung hihingi-hingi ako sa kanya. Thankfully, I had the Skin International online business that time. And then, eventually, I added more because nagkaroon ako ng chance. So my first source of income is the Young Living Business. You guys already know that because like ko naman siyang pinopromote. Actually, this one just started last year. During the pandemic, I bought oils. Not knowing na meron siyang business. But na-addict ako sa oils, na-addict ako sa lifestyle. And nalaman ko na may business side siya. So, inaral ko siya. And now, the biggest chunk of income in our household is coming from the Young Living Business. Not just for me, but also for Don the Builder. Because meron siyang additional business account. And then, meron din ako. So, very, very significant yung income na nakukuha namin dito. I am gold leader. Don's account is silver. So, if you guys are interested kung magkano yung kinikita ng gold and silver, I'll put the income disclosure statements in the description box down below. And if you want to do the business of Young Living as well, then you can message me. I can help you. Actually, yung business ng Young Living, meron siyang seven or eight ways to earn. Right now, I am targeting, I think, four ways dito sa business na to. And then the rest, someday, ma-achieve ko din yun. Number two is doing the retail business of Young Living. Ito, ano, hindi siya masyadong malaki, but still, since I am a distributor, yung mga non-members, they buy from me if hindi pa sila ready maging member. And then I get 24% profit. Sometimes 14% if nagbibigay ako ng discount. Kaya, so, naglolokohan kami lagi ng mga friends ko or ng mga umu-order sa akin na meron akong warehouse because I always have a lot of stocks here at home. Because yun nga, I do retail as well. My third source of income is YouTube. <laughs> Ayan. I'm being paid by AdSense. Hindi din siya ganun kalaki. But, I mean, kung nababayaran yung pagkuda ko, <laughs> why not, diba? And maybe someday, it will get bigger. I just started being monetized as well last year, nung nag-pandemic, because of the Young Living unboxing, to be honest. <laughs> Doon nag-start na nag-boom yung channel ko, dahil marami palang mga gustong maging oil bula area. So imagine, I was hitting two birds with one stone. Lumaki yung Young Living organization ko, and then lumaki din yung YouTube channel ko. And now I have the Kumares! <laughs> 
if you guys are planning to do YouTube, just do it na lang and then just keep posting whatever makes you happy. Huwag kayong ma-pressure to do something na trending o ano yung kaya mong i-share while talking to the camera, then that's what you do because you'll never know. My videos yung hindi pa ako monetize were mostly plants and yun nga yung essential oils. Yung plants, ayaw na ayaw ko pa siyang i-film kasi pagka nagsusearch ako ng trending topics, walang plants na Philippines ha. Noong una hindi ako masaya sa kanya, nung tinitingnan ko yung mga views kasi onti lang. But then, <laughs> lumala yung pagkaka-lockdown tapos naging plantita yung mga tao. Doon nabalikan yung mga plant videos ko and that's one of my highest viewed videos until today. So yung plants tsaka essential oils na unboxing, yun yung highest viewed and highest paid. Although, naka-take down na yung Young Living unboxing na yun because I was not compliant pa that time because I didn't know. So, yun. My fourth source of income is brand partnerships and collaborations. It's not just for YouTube, but YouTube opened the doors for me to earn in this industry. Brand partnerships is when brands message you to post something or review their products in your channel or in your Instagram, in your TikTok, and then they will pay you. Tapos yung brand collabs naman, you're gonna make videos or photos for them to post in their accounts or in their website, ganyan. So, you're gonna create the content for them. Pinagsama ko na silang dalawa because hindi pa naman ganun kabongga ang aking brand partnerships and collaborations because I'm just starting. Actually, medyo nagsistart na ako late last year. Pero tanggap na ako, tanggap na mga free kasi nahihiya akong maningil. Especially if I really love the product. Pinibili ko pa rin naman talaga sila and pinopromote ko naman talaga sila. Now, it's opening the doors for me na pwede na pala ang pagkakitaan. So, it's again a win-win situation. Mahilig na talaga ako mag-photoshoot for Instagram. It's arty-arty lang. But now, I can get paid by being super marty. Kaya yung kapatid ko ngayon, tsaka si Don, pag nagpapapicture ako, Gina-Gina sila. Maganda na yung mga angles. Hindi na sila nagre-reklamo. Because I keep telling them, ayusin nyo, bayad yan. <laughs> I really love this job. Fifth source of income is another thing that's sobrang sobrang close to my heart, the affiliate programs. I also didn't know about this before until certain companies reached out to me and dito na pumapasok yung pambubudol ni Kumari. <laughs> so if you don't know what that is, this is when I promote certain products and then if you buy that product using my unique link, then I earn a commission. Even before I was doing YouTube, I would always share whatever na nagustuhan ko. Actually, kaya nga ako nagkaroon ng Skin International na online business because lahat ng tinatry ko na skincare na nagustuhan ko sa iba-ibang bansa or iba-ibang lugar na napupuntahan ko, I would recommend it na it's really nice. If you are, have been a follower from before pa, you know that I really, really like recommending. Kaya nakakatawa, nagka-hashtag na akong recommend. I really like recommending things that I really use and love. So now, th there's a wonderful world of affiliate market ting pala it's also hard work. Pag nakikita ko nga si na Tony Sia, grabe, napakadami nilang stories sa sobrang daming mga links. Parang grabe, ang galing nila. Maximum links I can give in a day sa Instagram story is tatlo, apat. Kasi it's hard work. Yung mga pinopromote namin using the affiliate links, binibili namin yun ng sarili namin. Hindi yun pinapadala ng brand. Although, these are like very, very small commission na pinapakita ko nga sa mga friends ko. Kahit na bumili sila ng worth 12,000 na bike, ang mga kukuha kong commission is like 1 peso. Wow! <laughs> Basta hindi malaking commission. But it's really fun because dati ko na siyang ginagawa na nambubudol ako without getting anything. So at least, get something kahit konti lang. Sixth, ito hindi ko alam kung na-share ko na to sa inyo before. Dito ko nilalagay yung savings ko sa ING bank account. Matagal ko na siya nakikita kay Isabel Daza ata. And gusto ko siya because kung magde-deposit ka ng cheque, pwedeng pipicturean mo lang and then madideposit na. So dati ko na siyang gusto pero hindi ko siya nabibigyan ng time. And then finally, nabanggit sa akin nung friend ko si Master B. And dahil lang palang mag-apply. You just download the app, sign up. So, ayun. What I do is, I just put all of my savings there. Saan? Basta may extra ako. Doon ko na nilalagay. Hindi ko na siya nilalagay sa mga other bank accounts ko. Para doon, ang laki ng interest na kinikita. So, dali lang siya. Promise. Check nyo na lang sa website nila. For me, of course, it's a source of income kasi yung pera ko na andun, ang laki ng kinikita na interest. So, I suggest, if nag-iipon ng savings or nagpipigi bank kayo or something, doon nyo na lang ilagay para added cash flow din yun. And then my seventh source of income is the stock market. 
dahil din nag-request sa to make a video about it but I am not confident because hindi ko talaga siya naiintindihan ng sobra. Si Don yung talagang nag intindi nung investing namin sa stock market. Basta we use, I think it's called BDO Securities na ngayon. So, basta may BDO account ka, pwede kang mag-apply ng BDO Securities na account. Tapos madali lang, yung pera mo sa BDO, pwede mo ilagay doon. Tapos bibili ka na ng mga stocks. Last year, kasi nga bumaba yung market. Every time na nagkaka-5,000 pesos kami, doon namin nilalagay. So, now, na tumataas na ulit yung market, yung mga pinaglalagay namin doon last year, nag-earn na siya ng mga dividends. Dividends, para siyang um, share ng isang company. So, you will buy certain share of that company. Tapos, every time na kumikita sila, lahat ng mga shareholders, papadalahan nila ng mga dividends. That's the easiest way how I can explain it. Pero, yung more technical terms, mas maraming mga experts sa YouTube na pwede niyong paghanapan. Pero, hindi talaga ako expert. Now, this one we do for long-term investment. Kasi, may two kinds sa stock market. Trade, and you can invest. Yung trading, yun yung more on the short term, if I'm not mistaken. Tapos, yung investing, yun yung tipong hayaan mo lang dyan yung pera mo lumago for 5-10 years until pwede mo na siyang ma-appreciate. Basta yung portfolio namin, yung iba-iba namin para hindi lahat food industry, hindi lahat telco industry. Basta nagitigisa, ganyan. Yung mga kapatid ko, pinag-apply ko din. And sometimes, pagka maganda yung market, si Don lang yung magsabi sa aming lahat, oh, bili tayo kasi mababa to ngayon. Ganyan. It's, it's something that you guys should consider as well. Especially now that we are in this pandemic kasi mababa nga yung market. And then someday, pagka bumalik na tayo sa normal world, then you will see how nice na nag-invest ka dito. Kaysa bumili ka ng iPhone 13. Kasi someday, yung iPhone 13, Sira na or wala na talagang value. <laughs> That's why I'm still using iPhone 10. Because all of my money is growing somewhere. But I think kailangan ko na yun bumili because it's part of my job as a content creator. Pero as long as maganda pa yun yung pictures na na-upload ko sa Instagram, then I will still stick to that. <laughs> So, the next source of income is, di ba, yung kanina, yung BDO, we use that for long-term investment. Ito namang isa, you can use this for a shorter term. Kung aaralin mo lang talaga yan. This is called the Binomo app. Lately lang din namin to na-discover and I would actually like to thank them for sponsoring this video. So, anyway, the Binomo app is an online trading platform and it's actually one of the best platforms in the internet. With its easy-to-use interface, Binomo is a great opportunity for users who want to earn extra with just using an app since nowadays everything is online now so this one is something that you can use and you can earn as well it's very simple and user-friendly all you have to do is guess the motion of the chart by analyzing the trend in the market that was once you get familiar with it you can finally open a deal based on your expectation just simply download the binomo app meron sa google play store meron din siya sa app store anyway let me show you an example using my own account So as you can see, I will start investing my 50 pesos. So if I expect a rise in the market based on what I have analyzed in the chart, then I'll just simply click the up button. And if my forecast is correct, then I will earn 75 pesos. If I analyze that it's going down and I click the down button and I'm correct, then I will earn 75 pesos pa rin. Ang dali, di ba? But of course, any investment has risk associated with it, ha? So make sure na before you invest, you have to do your own research and that the money you're investing is just extra. And you should know how much risk you're willing to take when investing. Huwag niyong gagamitin yung mga pambayad nyo ng kuryente, <laughs> ng internet, kasi may risk na mapuputulan kayo. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But the good news is, if you register in the Binomo app using my unique link, not naman akong kikitain, but kayo will get a $1,000 or 50,000 pesos in your demo account that you can use to practice, to strategize, or to analyze the charts even before you start setting up your own personal account and start using your own personal money. Hindi mo makukuha yung 50,000 na yun na. It's just there for you to practice basically how to strategize in using this app. Di ba? Ang bongga. Para siyang free taste bago ka bumili. So, once you guys are ready and you're familiar na and you're confident na, you can finally 
actually make your own personal account. You can deposit na your own money and you can start na your first official trade for as low as 500 pesos or $10 lang. But wait guys, there is more. <laughs> I also have a personal code that I will put here that you can use to double your deposit money. So for example, nag deposit ka ng 1,000 pesos. If you use my code, then it will automatically be 2,000 pesos. Ito pera nyo na talaga to ha. Yung dineposit nyo will be doubled. Oh, bangga, di ba? So again, just a reminder guys, since trading involves money, and taking risks. This application is only for the Comares who are 18 years old na and above. And again, please manage your expectations that you may lose capital when you make a wrong forecast. That's why sabi ko kanina, do not use your pambayad ng kuryente because baka maputulan kayo. <laughs> use your extra money that is intended for investing lang talaga. So it's really important to practice and to learn how to strategize using the money in the demo account first before you enter your personal transaction pag talagang confident. By the way, guys, my code is available only for a very limited time. So if you are interested to try it, try it na as soon as you can. Para kung magaling na kayo, then may extra pera kayo sa Pasko. Because Binomo has a lot of ways to withdraw. O, di ba? Bongga. So yeah, this is one source of income that we just added recently. Nakakatawa siya because it's easy to understand compared to other trading apps. And yung kuya ko is more expert person when it comes to trading. And I actually added asked him to check it first before namin it try. Kaya if, if you guys want to try then there you go. So my next source of income, you may all know about this already. It's, it's a active wear line in partnership with my two friends. Ito passion project lang namin to. So di ba sabi ko sa inyo, I would always have like an online business. This is something na you do because passion mo siya, just nag enjoy ka. Tapos kumikita ka. Before I had my own clothing brand and then nagkaroon ako ng skincare, reselling business. Yan yung mga hilig ko talaga na pwede kong pagkakitaan. And and then now, last year, nagkachika-chikahan lang kami ng mga friends ko because they are also owners of the gyms and wala kami magawa because sarado yung gyms. We are working out from home. Then, naisip namin to build this brand out of passion and boredom dahil pandemic nga. <laughs> Now, we turned one year old already. So yeah, sobrang saya niya because I'm doing it with my friends and then wala siyang pressure because alam mo yun, hindi naman siya yung main source of income but it's extra. Ine-enjoy nga lang namin. So you should have something like that as well na ine-enjoy nyo and passion nyo. So for example, you guys love to bake, sell cookies or if mahili kayo gumawa ng accessories then make personalized accessories. Super easy na to have online businesses nowadays because sobrang dami ng couriers. Pwede nyo pang ilagay sa Shopee. So, isip Nyo ko ano yung passion nyo. Sister ko, nasa US naman siya, nabuborn na rin siya minsan. So yun, she's doing a pasabay shopping doon sa US. So yun, yung mga ganong mga discarte lang na you will still have fun but you will earn. And then my last source of income is the Trian and Closet. This is my online closet. <laughs> Dati na namin tong ginagawa ng mga kapatid ko. Bata pa lang kami. Legit na garage sale because we love shopping. So, we would always sell yung mga hindi na namin gusto na gamit or mga damit so we can buy new ones. We grew up doing that para may pambili kami ng bagong mga outfits kasi bata pa lang kami, maarte na kami. <laughs> And then yun, nakasanayan na na. It's one way to declutter kasi hindi naman pwedeng lahat itatambak mo lang din dyan. This is a source of income for me because I do it. Pagkakailangan ko ng pera, <laughs> I would find things and then I will sell it. Alam niyo yung mga nakatambak lang dyan na nabili mo lang because impulsive ka and then tagal mo na hindi nagagamit. Then just let it go. You can sell it. Somebody else might be able to love it kesa nakatambak lang sa house nyo. Ayun! Um, I hope I have answered all of your questions. Now you know where I get my money. I hope you guys learned a thing or two in this video and inspired you guys to broaden your cash flow baskets. You can start with two or three. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, for the longest time, I only had two or three the most. Netong pandemic lang ako nag-explore ng other things. Yung mga investments namin and properties. Hindi ko na siya sinama because I'm not getting cash flow from that pa naman right now. But they are earning something na already like our properties. nag appreciate ang properties every time. So for sure, if ibenta ko yun, kita na rin ako. It, it will give me income but it's not like something na I considered na flowing cash. Buti kong ipinaparent ko or something that can be considered as a cash flow but maybe someday but for now they're just there sitting and appreciating its value same as the investments that we got from sun life pro life ayang mga life life na yan <laughs> so yon i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give this a thumbs up please subscribe and click the bell button para updated kayo on my next videos bye